elapsed time. This sounds like a very serious topic. Time that's elapsed. A jet pilot takes off from house from home base and flies for 45 minutes until flying over its target. After the target is destroyed, it continues on for 8 hours and 15 minutes before reaching the base outside of Moose Jaw at 8.15 a.m. What did the what time did the jet take off from base? Include a.m. or p.m. in your answer. Oh, there's a lot to type here. Let's work this through. We flew for 45 minutes. We then flew for another 8 hour and 15 minutes after we destroyed something. So we flew for 9 hours. We flew for 9 hours and we got to where we wanted to get to at 8.15 a.m. All right, so let's think this through. If we had at, if we had gotten there at 9.15, that would be an easy problem, right? It would just be 15 minutes after midnight, so 12.15. But we didn't get there at 9.15. We got there at 8.15, so we have to take... It's 11.15, right? It's 11.15, because 11.15 p.m., plus nine hours, adding one gets you to 12.15, and then adding another eight gets you to 8.15. So it's 11.15 p.m. So you gotta be very careful with writing this. 11 colon 15 space p.m. as we left in the night. Awesome, we're awesome. A jet pilot takes off from home base and flies for 30 minutes until flying over its target. After the target is destroyed, it continues on for 8 hours and 45 minutes before reaching the base outside of, there it is again, Moose Jaw. And it gets to that base at 11.30. So what time did it take off? Okay, we get there at night, probably left sometime in the afternoon. Let's work it out. So we flew 30 minutes. And then we flew eight hours and 45 minutes. So let's do it a little bit differently. Let's take 11.30 and subtract 30 minutes. And that'll get us to 11 p.m. And then let's subtract another eight hours from that. And that'll get us to 3 p.m. And then let's subtract another 45 minutes from that. And that'll get us to 2.15 p.m. Cameron and Michaela hung out at the mall on Sunday. They spent 15 minutes shopping for clothes and three hours at the food court. That sounds about right. They spent four hours and 30 minutes at the video arcade before heading home. That also sounds about right. Good decisions, Cameron and Michaela. It was 11.15 p.m. when Cameron and Michaela left the mall. What time did they start shopping? All that shopping. 11.15? You guys are, would not never be allowed to stay out till 11.15 at a mall, right? I don't actually know a single mall that's open that late. Minus 15 minutes gives us 11 p.m. Minus 3 hours gives us 8 p.m. Minus 4 hours gives us 4 p.m. And then another 30 minutes gives us 3.30 p.m. Left the house at 3.30 p.m. And they did all these things and they got back and their parents were like, what on earth took you so long? 3.30 p.m. If Julia leaves her house and spends 5 hours and 15 minutes driving to the school and spends 2 hours and 45 minutes playing badminton, if she finishes badminton at 4.45 p.m., when did she leave her house? Well, you know, I look at these, and these just add up so nicely, don't they? They just add up to, these add up to 7, these add up to an hour. So this, all the time spent, the elapsed time here was 8 hours. That's good to know. 
So she finishes badminton at 4.45 p.m. That's a long school ride, children. Five hours and 15 minutes. So eight hours. Okay, so 4.45. I'll break it up. I'll break it up into four hour chunks. So minus four hours gives us 12.45. And once we get to the 12, we can subtract another four and get to 8.45. So that's fun. So she left at 8.45 a.m. 8.45 a.m. Okay, Avery's doing Boxing Day shopping and leaves her house and spends four hours and 15 minutes driving to the mall. Then she spends another four hours and 15 minutes shopping. Okay, so I'm going to take my 5.15. I'm going to get rid of one of these four hours and 15 minutes, and that's going to put me at 1 p.m. Then I'm going to get rid of another hour to get me to 12 p.m. Getting to that 12 boundary is useful, right? Because then we can just do regular math again. And then I'm going to subtract three hours to get to 9 p.m. And I'm going to subtract 15 minutes to get to, oh, 9 a.m., sorry. Then I'm going to subtract 15 minutes to get to 8.45 a.m. And we can always check our work, and I'm going to because I don't want to get it wrong at this point. So 8.45 a.m. So let's work backwards. 8.45 a.m., add 15 minutes and four hours, and you get 9 and then four is one, and then you add another four hours and 15 and you get 5.15 p.m. Yeah, so 8.45 a.m. Noah leaves the school and walks two hours and 45 minutes to the convenience store to buy some sunflower seeds. He then spends three hours and 30 minutes walking home. If he gets home at 11.30, okay, so let's do the 11.30. Let's get rid of that three hours and 30 minutes. So this is PM, we're in the night. We get to 8 PM. And then let's take away these two hours and we get 6 PM. Then let's take away these 45 minutes and we get 5.15 PM. And again, I'm gonna check because we've come too far to get something wrong. 5.15 p.m. So 5.15 p.m. He walks 2 hours and 45 minutes. That'll give him 8 p.m. He then spends 3 hours and 30 minutes. So that'll give him 11.30 p.m. Okay. So 5.15 p.m. Connor is playing magic with his friends. He starts at 8.15 p.m. and spends 30 minutes in his first game and 30 minutes in his second game. What time is he done? Okay, so this is a nice forwards question, and the numbers aren't so crazy. So we're just going forwards in time. He starts at 8.15. When does he end? Well, he plays for an hour. Spends 30 minutes in the first game, 30 minutes in the second game. This is a realistic example. What time is he done playing? Starts at 8.15 p.m., plays an hour. He's done at 9.15 p.m. Michaela went to the playground at 6.45 a.m. Early riser, Michaela. She played on the slide for 45 minutes and sw swings for 15 minutes, then went home. What time was it when Kayla left the playground? Okay, yeah, so this is another forwards question. What's nice about this is that 45 minutes and 15 minutes add up to an hour, so she's playing for a solid hour. Good hour of morning play. This feels wholesome. This question makes me feel good. So... You add an hour to 6.45 a.m., she gets home at 7.45 a.m. A train leaves Saskatoon at 1.15 a.m. and then travels 30 minutes to the next stop in Regina. After that, it goes on to Moose Jaw, 
Here we are with Moose Jaw again, which takes 30 minutes, 30 minutes more minutes. 30 more minutes. What time does it arrive in Moose Jaw? So it starts at 1.15 a.m. 30 minutes to the next stop. 30 minutes to get to Moose Jaw. So it's an hour, right? So it starts at 1.15 a.m. It ends up getting there at 2.15 a.m., which is smack dab in the middle of the night. 2.15 a.m. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Time to arrive at Moose Jaw. 2.15 a.m. All right, last one. Julia went to the playground at 9.15 p.m. She played on the slide for 45 minutes and swung for 30 minutes, then went home. What time was it when she left the playground? Okay, so 9.15. Add 45 minutes, get to 10 p.m. Add another 30 minutes, get to 10.30 p.m. And that's when she's done playing at 10.30 p.m., which is this answer. Okay, so 10.30 p.m. And you guys should definitely not be at the playground without your parents at 10.30 p.m. And have fun.